backwards two, three, four, forward and pirouette. I'm a dancer and I'm a traveler. And wherever I go, I experience the world one dance at a time. I'm Michaela Malazzi, and this is Bare Feet. With the Hogmanay celebrations underway, I decide to do some exploring of this UNESCO heritage site. Edinburgh has been Scotland's capital since the 15th century, and if you walk along the Royal Mile towards Edinburgh Castle, you can relive the history along these old cobblestone streets. At the end of the road, right before you hit the castle, is the Edinburgh Woolen Mill. I'm here at the Edinburgh Tartan Weaving Mill, and I'm here with Steph. Steph, thank you so much for showing us around. No problem at all. I want to know, I've seen tartans everywhere here in Scotland, but can you tell me the significance? Um, each pattern's very different. Yes, each pattern is unique to every clan. Um, there's thousands of clans, mm -hmm. so you can imagine how many tartans there is. There's a right. lot of tartans. Right. So the clans, there were battles between the clans, correct? Yes, yeah. there were battles between clans. And and I'm assuming the tartans were to help to signify between? Yeah, they helped distinguish obviously clan from clan. Right. Um, you wouldn't want to obviously kill any uh, of your own clan. Yeah. So yeah, tartan was very important way back in the day. Are you wearing anything under your kilt? No, I'm not. <laughs> And that's typical, right? That's typical, yes. Right. You don't yes. need anything under the kilt. Yeah, no, you don't. <laughs> Super. <laughs> that was fantastic. With only a few hours left before Hogmanay comes to its climactic end, I get one last chance to learn a Scottish essential for this New Year's celebration. The Cayley, which technically means a gathering. I'm going to show you how to do a very popular dance that we normally start a Cayley with called the Gay Gordons, named after the Gordons Highlanders who had a very gaily coloured uh, military uniform. So what yeah. we're going to do is yeah. we're going to walk forward for four steps okay. and I'm going to swivel you once again against your will and we will continue in a backwards direction for four steps. Okay. Is that clear? Very clear. Great. Okay. Okay, starting with the left foot, here we go then. And forward, One, two, two, three. three. Four. four and back five six seven eight that was beautiful Michaela Thank I've, you. I've never seen that done so smoothly <laughs> da, da, da. and all the time we would be doing this with other couples in a big circle of couples I'm a little dizzy, is that normal? That's normal. Okay, good. I thought it was just me. Oh, well, really? Well I, am done, a little, well I am done. a little dizzy. Well and an extra special bonus, a last minute bagpipe lesson with Gary West. So Gary, this is the yeah. first time I've ever okay. even touched the pipes. Right, okay. So basically, what you have to do is get this on your shoulder and the bag under your arm. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Now, then, then you have to squeeze so as you as you blow in, that's, that's it. Terrible. Sounds terrible. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> as you I'm really sorry. <laughs> that's that's yeah. That's um. So the fact that they're so loud, that's why they really became so popular in the Highlands of Scotland because mm -hmm. there was a lot of battles between the clans, mm -hmm. and this was a really good instrument for cutting through the noise of battle, mm -hmm. so that people you could get messages to the other mm. the other flank and mm -hmm. so on. So they are. Um, they have been an instrument of war for probably 400 years or wow. so, but also an instrument for being happy and right, dancing right. and having a good time. Nearly. Oh, oh dear. Well, yeah, Gary, yeah. thank you. My it pleasure. Was an experience. My pleasure. This is yeah, probably one luck. of the first things I definitely could not do. Uh, so you stumped me. Eddie. Hey. <laughs> there we go. This is the moment I was waiting for. Over 75,000 people celebrating the coming of the new year. And with over 2,500 dancers, Edinburgh's Hogmanay hosts the largest outdoor Cayley in the world. I was sure to put my lesson to good use. Scotland's vivacious energy can be found in every place I visited, and with every turn I make, 
I find one more reason to love this country even more. Hogmanay is just one excuse to visit here, but along the way, I found countless others. Happy New Year, and I'll see you on my next bare feet adventure wherever it takes me. Happy New Year, everybody! Woo! Watch this entire episode and other bare feet dance adventures on your local PBS station, on the PBS app, or on PBS.org. Or just click right here to watch more. And be sure to find us online at travelbarefeet.com. Happy travels! <laughs>